Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Black Wall Street Hustler. And I am the general. Yes, that's me. Today's video is going to be about the Saturday Dime Drop. The Saturday Dime Drop. We do this every Saturday. Do a Dime Drop. The Dime Drop is going to be on the topic on how to stack your paper. How to stack your paper. All right. Let me get this uh disclaimer out. I'm not a professional. I'm not licensed, but I did get my doctoral degree from Hard Knocks of Life University. And also, I don't condone drinking nor smoking, but if you do, do it in moderation. Moderation. All right, I started this channel to bring awareness to financial literacy, show people how we make passive income while we're sitting at home watching TV, while we sleep, while we're on vacation, while we're on nine to five, and also while we're taking a sip in moderation. We're letting our money work for us and not us work hard for our money. If you like what I'm doing, please, by all means, smash that like sign, poke that subscribe sign, hit that bell notification so you'll be notified when I put out a video. And please, share it with somebody. Share it. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. All right. Saturday Dime Drop is how to stack your paper. Yes, how to stack your paper. First, we need to get go from a poor mind frame to a rich mind frame. We got to get out of that stage. We everybody we stuck in this poor mind frame, and we're not thinking smart. We got to start thinking like a rich person, not a poor person. We always want to be a millionaire. That's all we talk about. I want to be a millionaire. I want to ride around in this type of car. I want to be on a yacht in in, in Miami. I want to do all that. We always talk about that, but we don't invest our money like we want to be a million. People didn't get the old millions just by talking about it. They had to do some work to get it. And if you don't put your money to work, you won't see that million now unless you hit lotto. And you still got to put your money to work to hit that because they don't get it to you for free. You got to put some money in there to get it. So, and you know, the chances of y'all hitting lotto. It's very slim, but the chance you put your best of your money in the stock market and making a million is very high. So it's up to you. You want to take a slim chance or you want to do something that's, that's foolproof that's going to happen. It's up to you. Moderation's here. I just like people, every first of the year, a New Year resolution, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to lose weight. You're not going to lose weight if you keep eating all these bad food. That's just point blank. You cannot outwork a bad diet. You can go to the gym five, six hours a day. If you come home, you're still eating the bad food. You're not going to lose weight. You can't outwork. It. Same thing with investment. You're not going to make a million if you ain't going to invest your money. You sure not gonna make a million. You got there spending money, thinking you're a millionaire. So why invest your money, make your money, and take that money, somebody else's money, and spend that, and keep your money working for you? That's the best way to do it. That's what millionaires do. Other people money. Moderation. But everybody want a different outcome, but they do not want to change their strategy and do something different, make a different outcome. That's deep right there. All right, let's get right into how to stack your paper. 
I did some research on this. I like I talked to a lot of people. A lot of people you know like times are hard right now. People ain't got a lot of loose money out there. But if you, you buckle down and, and, and cut out some stuff that you really don't need, then you can find some money here and there. So I did this little chart right here of people that work in, you know, say, a little bit over minimum wage or whatever. I got something for everybody. Like this channel is not a millionaire channel. This channel is a hundred there and a thousand there channel. That's how we are. We're hoping to get to a millionaire, but right now we're a hundred there and a thousand there. That's the mind frame we got right now, but we're heading towards a million. But you got to start somewhere. If you don't start, you'll never be able to finish. All right, if you take $25 a month and save that for the next 20 years and put it in the stock market, invest it in the stock market with the right stocks, with the right companies, you will have six thousand dollars of your money in there and, and guess what out of five or seven cent return off your money it come up to about thirty two thousand dollars six thousand of your money and you're gonna have thirty two thousand dollars for twenty five dollars a month for 20 years all right Let's say if you do fifty dollars a month for twenty years, you have twelve thousand dollars of your money invested in in, in some of the good stock, making five to seven percent interest. That's the low, that's low return off your money now in the stock market. You're gonna come out of there with sixty four thousand dollars. All right, let's keep going. If you did a hundred dollars a month for twenty years, you'll have twenty four thousand dollars of your money, and you you have invested in the stock market. Five to seven cent return, you have $128,000 waiting on you at 20 year retirement. $200 a month for 20 years, you have $48,000 of your money sitting in the stock market. On a five to seven cent return, you have $256,000 and go on and on and on and on. So when you think about how much money when you do 20 years and you run a retire yourself how much money you need think about this chart so you know where to start you know maybe right now say if you're 18 20 whatever 21 you may can't do but 25 dollars a month and as you get older you get a better job or get more money go to 50 dollars a month go on 100 dollars a month then when you start seeing your return off your money then you're gonna start putting more money in there so, ooh, Man, you know, if you put six grand in there, you come out with 32K, who wouldn't do that? I would. And then I said five to seven cent return. That's the average stock market a year. But you got some stocks do that on a daily basis. Think about that. On a daily basis. You got some stocks for the year up 30 or 40 percent return on your money. So I'm just basing this off the basic ETFs. You know, put your money in there. You get, I say, for five, seven percent, depending. That's off basic. But if you, you you mix it up, that's why they call it diversifying your portfolio. You mix your portfolio up with ETF, dividend play, and some stocks, some good headed stocks. And I did a video on that last week, which ones to get in. You put your money in, them stocks going to bring you better 5 to 7 cent return on your money at the end of the year. They're going to give you way triple or four times more. So, hey, moderation. Just give you something to think about now. Just give you something to think about. So, you got to set your goal. You got to set your fire number. Fire number, F I R E number. I know you're probably saying, What's that? The fire number is your financial independence retirement, retire early number. With that, based on you take all your bills you got, you, you add them up, and you say, Okay, I got, say, for instance, I got $3,000 a month in bills. So you do that. 
$3,000 a month times 12 months times 20 years. And that gives you a fire number. That's how you do it. And that's what you need to retire for and live comfortable. Yeah. That's how you do it. So everybody got a different fire number. Some people got a lot of bills. Some people don't have no bills at all. <laughs> so you think about that. So every money you say, every money you got, it's going to be straight, straight private because you won't have no bills. You debt free. Moderation. So that's another poor mind frame, rich mind frame. Think about it. Quit buying all these liabilities and get you some assets. Something that's going to make money for you. That's when you take that money you made off your assets and buy some liability. And they won't cost you nothing. I'm just saying, man. Just, just, you just saying. Dropping Saturday dimes over here. That's what I'm going to do. In moderation. All right, let's look at this now. So you want two times your money. At 2%, you can put that in like VTI, all your money in VTI, and you'll get probably around 2 3% interest off your money. To double it, you'll take you 36 years. Now, if, you, if it's a good year in the stock market, they do 4%, it'll take 18 years. At 6%, it'll take 12 years. At 8%, it'll take 9 years. At 10%, it'll take 7 years. 12%, it'll take 6 years. Now, you think about that. Now, I, I got nothing against with VTI. I got money in VTI because that's a guarantee. It's pretty much you're not going to lose a lot. You're not going to gain a lot, but you're not going to lose a lot. You're going to stay in between. You're going to stay balanced. Your money going to be growing. It's not going to be going down. It's going to be growing. But if you take your money and invest in the right stock, in the right company, 12%. That's that probably be on a monthly basis. Twelve cent on your dollar on a monthly basis. That's some nice money. That's some nice money. That's some nice money. But I'm gonna tell you this: I ain't got nothing against the banks. I love the banks. Matter of fact, I got accounts in four, five different banks. They can one bank fall or something happen with them. You can't get to your money. I can go to another bank get my money. I'm wrong with that bank. I got another bank. But I got a certain amount I keep in those banks that I, you know, if I just want to get my hands on something, I can get my hands on them. But like I say, you 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 got to have your mercy fund established in your savings account. I call it my help me Jesus account. You got to have that in there. Uh, mercy, you can reach in there and get your money. Once you establish that, start investing your money. Because I'm going to tell you this now. The bank is built to hold your money. Yeah, it's built for that. And well, guess what they're doing when they're holding your money? They're taking everybody's money they hold, putting it in the stock market, and making money off the, off your money for themselves. That's how the bank is funding. Taking your money, investing it, getting 20 30% return on it on a monthly basis, and only giving you zero point. I take a point zero five percent return off your money. On an annual basis, and they getting 20, 30, or more percent on your money. They ain't using their money, they're using your money, making money off your money. I'm just saying, that's how the bank is built, that's how it runs. Hey, don't get mad at me, it's been going on way before my time, but that's how it is, man. I keep money in banks now. I'm not saying don't keep your money in the bank, but uh, wait, things get these days. Not only better keep some money in the bank, keep some money in the stock market, you need to keep some money hidden at the house. Because, uh, like I said, about a month ago, the, our power went out about three or four days. No Wi Fi. You couldn't watch TV because cable based off Wi Fi. Phone server was messed up because it was based off Wi Fi. And it was just, it was rough. Trust me, them four days were rough. So, uh, 
So you gotta keep it, man. One day everything shut down. You ain't got no money at the house. Stash somewhere at the house, it's gonna be rough. It'll be rough. I'm saying, well, just, just, just throwing a little tidbit at you, you know what I'm saying? That's what you gotta think someday. All right, people. Like I say, this is the Saturday down drop. Just getting this video out a little late, but I had a lot to do, but uh, moderation. And for those that run your household, I hope you defied your stogie up. Like I say I run mine, but I had to do this video. I can't smoke and do this video. But you know what I'm talking about. All right, this is the Wall Street Hustler, and I am the General, and I'm signing out. Peace.